officers and brave people like each and every one of you. Together we can win. Together we can Excuse me. Martian Manhunter John Jones is one of the most powerful and versatile members of the Justice League. With abilities ranging from telepathy to shape-shifting, John is an alien with a wide range of incredible powers. But what if Martian Manhunter were real? How would his abilities translate into the real world? And is there any science that could explain his extraordinary powers? Let's dive into the powers of Martian Manhunter and see what's possible in reality. First up, let's look at shape-shifting. One of Machine Man Hunter's most famous abilities is his ability to shapeshift into any form, whether it's another human, an alien creature, or even objects. In reality, shapeshifting presents enormous biological challenges. To change form, John would need to manipulate his mass, structure, and molecular composition. In the real world, we already see examples of shapeshifting on a smaller scale. Think about octopus, which can change their shape and color to blend in their environment. But real shapeshifting, as we see with Martian Manhunter, would require a far more advanced process. His ability to shift into entirely different species means he would need to rearrange his molecules and DNA at an incredibly fast pace. Theoretically, this could involve a type of advanced cellular manipulation where each cell in his body is able to rapidly change its size, shape, and even function. This means his muscles, bones, and skin would have to adapt instantly a feat that requires extraordinary biological complexity. While no animal or technology on Earth is currently able to do this, research in synthetic biology and nanotechnology is beginning to explore how we might one day alter cells and molecules in real time. In fiction, this process is often glossed over, but in reality, shape-shifting would involve massive amounts of energy. Every transformation would require not just physical changes, but the reconfiguration of his internal systems. For Martian Manhunter to pull this off, he'd need a nearly unlimited source of energy far beyond what humans could harness. Then we've got telepathy. The time. I'll take the information from him. I thought you couldn't read their minds. I'll just have to try harder. Machine Man Hunter is one of the strongest telepaths in the DC universe, capable of reading minds, communicating mentally, and even controlling others' thoughts. While mind reading seems like pure fantasy, recent advancements in brain-computer interfaces are bringing us closer to a form of telepathy. BCIs allow the brain to send signals directly to computers, which can then interpret the signals as commands. We've already seen experiments where two people can send simple messages or commands to each other using nothing but their thoughts, connecting via technology. For Martian Manhunter's level of telepathy to exist, this technology would need to evolve exponentially. He can not only hear thoughts, but process complex emotions, memories, and mental images in real time. In our world, this would require a way to read and decode brain waves with extreme precision. Each thought is a combination of electrical signals and while we are studying to understand these signals, decoding complex thoughts and emotions is a monumental challenge. 
Furthermore, machine man hunter's ability to control thoughts would require more than just reading brain waves. It would mean sending electrical impulses directly into someone else's brain. This could theoretically be done with advanced neural stimulation, but the ethical implications would be vast. Imagine a world where thoughts could be influenced or controlled remotely. In Machine Man Hunter's case, his alien biology may grant him access to telepathic abilities that go beyond our technological reach. Then we've got density control and intangibility. One of Machine Man Hunter's most incredible abilities is his power to control his density, allowing him to face through solid objects, become intangible, or increase his density for greater durability. But is this remotely possible in the real world? At the atomic level, all matter is mostly empty space. The atoms that make up solid objects are spaced apart with electrons orbiting a central nucleus. If Machine Man Hunter could somehow manipulate the space between atoms, either by compressing or expanding them, he could potentially pass through solid matter. In quantum physics, there's a phenomenon called quantum tunneling, where particles can pass through barriers they normally wouldn't be able to, defying traditional physical laws. To apply this to Machine Man Hunter, we would need to control the interaction between atoms and the atoms of other objects. If he could manipulate the electromagnetic forces that keep matter intact, he might be able to make himself intangible. This would allow him to slip between the atoms of walls or other barriers. Of course, this would require a deep understanding and control of his own molecular structure. In practical terms, such an ability would involve complex energy manipulation and it's hard to imagine any biological organism being capable of this. However, future developments in quantum technology or particle manipulations could give us a glimpse into how density control might one day be achievable. Next up, we've got super strength and flight. Like Superman, Machine Man Hunter possesses immense strength and the ability to fly. But how would these superpowers work if Machine Man Hunter existed in the real world? Flight requires a combination of lift and thrust to overcome gravity. For humans, achieving flight typically means relying on technology, airplanes, rockets, or jetpacks. For Machine Man Hunter though, his flight is seamlessly effortless and he can hover or fly at incredible speeds. This suggests that he has a way of either manipulating gravity or generating lift through unknown means. One possible explanation is anti-gravity technology, which could counter the force of gravity by manipulating the gravitational field around him. On the other hand, Machine Man Hunter's super strength is slightly more grounded in reality. In the animal kingdom, many species display strengths far beyond their size. Ants can lift objects many times their own weight and gorillas have tremendous muscle power. For Machine Man Hunter, his alien physiology likely gives him muscles that are far denser and more efficient than human muscles. If we ever develop technology to enhance human muscle fibers or increase bone density, we could see a version of super strength emerge in the real world. But flying at super speeds and having the strength to lift buildings would still require incredible energy efficiency. Machine Man Hunter's body would need to possess and store vast amounts of energy to sustain these feats, something far beyond the capacity of the human body as we know it. Then lastly, invisibility. Yes. It will trigger a solar flare that will propagate at light speed along the magnetic trail we've left. And eight and a half minutes later, it will utterly destroy the sunward facing side of the Earth. Nearly half the world's population will die instantly. And thanks to the accompanying electromagnetic pulse, any technology more advanced than, say, the steam engine will simply stop working. That's quite an ambitious plan. No wonder you wanted us out of the way. I thought you took care of him! He should have been burning for weeks. Don't feel bad. Actually, none of you managed to finish the job. Did you get all that? You did. Take them down. Don't let them get to the missile! 
Martian Manhunter's ability to turn invisible makes him a master of stealth, but is invisibility truly possible? In the real world, scientists have made impressive strides towards invisibility with light bending materials known as metamaterials. These materials work by redirecting light around an object, effectively making it disappear to the naked eye. Current technology is still limited, but future advancements could push this concept even further. Martian Manhunter's invisibility would likely function by manipulating the way light interacts with his body, allowing photons to pass through him rather than reflect off his surface. For him to disappear entirely, he would need not only bend visible light, but also other forms of radiation like infrared or ultraviolet. This would make him invisible not only to the human eye, but to cameras and sensors as well. Achieving full spectrum invisibility would require complex biological or technological manipulation of electromagnetic waves, a concept still far beyond our current capabilities but not entirely out of reach in the distant future. In nature, animals like the octopus or certain species of fish can use advanced camouflage to blend into their surroundings, becoming nearly invisible. If Martian Manhunter's biology allowed him to control how light interacts with his skin and molecules, he might be able to achieve true invisibility. In conclusion, Martian Manhunter's powers push the boundaries of what we know about science and technology, from shape-shifting to telepathy and beyond. His abilities make us wonder how much of what we see in comics could one day be possible. But what do you think? Which of Martian Manhunter's powers fascinates you the most? Do you think we'll ever see his abilities come to life in the real world? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay enthusiastic.